YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is Rico, man. Back with another video, man. I told y'all I was gonna react to a bounty hunter deep. I take the test video today, man. I see you dropped one last night. Um, it's called I Made His Shoes Touch the Sky. So, from what that's saying, I'm pretty much assuming that he had to put hands on my guy. So, we're gonna get straight into the action. But first, before we do that, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't know. I mean, so you don't know, so you know. We want you to know. Sorry about that. Of course, we want y'all to know when we upload videos. But other than that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and start the screen record. Hold on one second. It started. So starting the video now. Hey, thank you for coming in, Megan. What's up? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. This must be the love of your life. Is it Zachary or Zach? Uh, go with Zach. Zach is fine. Cool. Fine with me. My name is Dee. This is my wife, Jami, on the camera right there. If you want to wave to her, she likes getting waves. Um, so, uh, Zach, do you know why Megan has you here today? No, I don't. Okay. Did you want me to tell him or you want to tell him? You should tell him. It's not a proposal. Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> um, as you already know, Megan loves you. I don't need to tell you that. Mm -hmm. You know that. Um, in fact, she spoke to my wife, you know, if you don't mind me sharing that conversation a little bit, Megan, okay, um, that you guys are thinking about kind of taking things to the next level. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, y'all was talking baby in the future and getting the house and all that good stuff. So she talked to my wife about that for a while. And, you know, some of the conversation, they got a little teary. Um, and the reason why is because she loves you so much. She also thinks I need to be involved in, in what way, right? I'm a private investigator, and she hired me because she feels that there could be some infidelity going on, and she wants you to take a lie detector test and allow me to film that today. So this is why you're here, and I know it's a shock, but that's why you're here today. Wow. Yeah, she so thinks you might be cheating on her. Why? Why do we need to do this? I just... There are so many reasons why. So many reasons? There's yeah. no reasons. I don't even we know just where... need to leave. That's what we no, need. No, yes, don't we leave. Don't I don't want you to leave. Stay. No, we kind of need to leave. I love you and I want to And I love you too, and that's why sure. we don't need to know. With Facebook shops, connecting people with your business just got easier. You can bridge the gap. It's... No, any. She said it's a lot of reasons, so that I means it's a whole bunch of red flags, my guy. Simple. You must definitely be doing something that you got in the business doing because if she's saying it's many reasons, that I means you the messed up for real, for real. So, hey man, you gotta. I don't know how you're doing it, what you're doing, but hey, can't be moving like that, especially if she knowing about some some stuff that you possibly doing and stuff just because you getting off strong indications that you're doing stuff and a lot of the stuff that she thinking about probably ain't making no sense at all if y'all in a relationship and stuff so y'all gotta realize your other half if you doing something that you got on business doing like going out late but ain't really saying where you going and stuff i'm not saying he doing this but stuff like that that's going to be a strong indication that you got something going on that you don't want that person to know about. Because if you're doing, going out that late, at times people possibly supposed to be asleep unless it's a party or something or a family gets together or whatever the case may be. Then you really got no excuse for why you out super late and stuff like that. Unless something happened with your car, et cetera, et cetera. But this ain't that type of video. We just talking about the possibilities of what she talking about. So... We're going to get back to it, man, but it sounds like it's going to be some stuff like that. Anything else? Can you please just do this for me? Can I... For can you? I Come on, we can, I can do other things for no, you. No, no, Zach, let me just ask you this. You Zach, are you, are you cheating on her, man? Just, are you, man? No, I'm not. You're not. I'm okay, not so if anything. you're not cheating on her, then why does this test bother you? Well, because I don't need you to know anything about me. It's not about me. It's about her. It's not about me. It. It's about her. That's why we me. can just go. No. And we don't have to worry about this exactly. anymore. Really? If you love me, you'll do this for me. Zach, please. Please just do this. Can't you see how, how much it pains me inside? I just, I need to know for sure. Please, can you just sit down already? Uh, 
No. No? What do you mean, no? Why not? Because I can show you love in other ways. It's not that you're showing me love. You're showing me that I can trust you. If you don't think, yeah. if you don't think that I should trust you, then you can well, walk out. Well, you can out. trust me. That's, that's okay? the thing. So then sit down and prove it to me. I don't need to. Then walk yes, out. Yes, you do. You do need to, because if not, this right here is over. It's done. All the time, all the money, all the love, all the cooking, because she told me she cooked for you, all that stuff. That's going to be gone. I can't make you take the test, but I'm not going to stand here and try to convince you, man. If you want to leave, there's a door, dog. But if you love her... Hey, you know what? Fine, 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 fine. Okay, all right, good. I appreciate that. So, Megan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you wait outside, okay. and I'm going to set Zach up, up to the machine, okay? Okay. Okay, so come on. Okay. Okay, Zach, have you ever taken a lie detector test before? Uh, no. You haven't? Okay, great. So it's really easy. All you have to do is answer yes or no to every question that I ask. Don't give me an excuse or a reason. Uh, my wife is going to read your body language and just keep looking forward. Don't look at me or the test or anything like that, okay? Because I want to make sure I get a perfect reading for you, accurate reading, okay? Okay. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Here we go. First question. Is your name... Zachary. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, all I need is a yes or a no. Nothing after that. Let's try it again. Is your name Zachary? Yes. Do people call you Zach? Yes. Is your girlfriend's name Megan? Yes. Do you love Megan? Yes. Are you in love with Megan? Yes. When you're kissing Megan, do you think of another woman? No. When you're intimate with Megan, are you thinking of another woman? No. Have you ever stolen from Megan? Yes. In the last... Did my man just admit that he stole her from her? For red flag right there. <laughs> number one. Like, no, oh, that's time for number one, my boy. You just... You just admitted that you stole from her. Like, with the... All right. If y'all supposed to be so in love and stuff stuff like that, what makes you got to steal from her? Like, especially a, a female that loves you like that. Like, because I, I, my girl, for one, loves me. So, she pretty much gives me whatever I want whenever she can, just like I do for her, et cetera, et cetera. So, I could tell that she really likes taking care of this dude and stuff just based off how pretty much she brought the man there just to find out if he cheating on her or not and she really trying to figure that out before they get on to the marriage and stuff like that but that's gonna definitely that's gonna basically definitely cause some trust issues in a relationship because once she find out that you've been stealing now she gonna be thinking about the stuff you done stole and how long you probably been stealing from her was it more than once etc etc and and pretty much she gonna want to know why you stole from her in the first place like what what did you have to do that you can't just ask her for like pretty much what did you steal that you can't ask her for cash items what like it's gonna be crazy i already know she definitely gonna feel some type of way about the stealing not just if he cheating or whatever but definitely that's stealing because ain't no reason why you should be stealing from the person that pretty much trying to take care of you and be there for you 24 7 type shit so i don't know man he definitely slipped up on that one 30 days have you used the internet to meet other women no and low key, I gotta make sure I heard that right. Maybe I'm tweaking. Of another woman. No. Have you ever stolen from Megan? Yes. In the last 30 days, have you used the internet to meet other women? No. In the last 30 days, have you had unprotected relation with anyone other than Megan? No. Are you cheating on Megan? No. 
Megan, thanks he for coming back. He asked questions like it hurt. Just finished the test. <laughs> Me and Zach almost called him Zake, but it's Zach. Um, I asked him a series of questions, man. But before I get to it, did you want to tell her anything before I go forward? You can trust me. Okay, I like that. First question I asked him. How you gonna tell her you, she could trust you, but yet you just said you stole it from her? That's already right there saying I shouldn't trust you. So I'm gonna I'm wait to see when he gets to that question and tell her the answer that he gave to him and see how she responds because everybody knows once you steal from somebody, that's ultimate disrespect right there. That's like top in a relationship, like top number one tied with cheating. So that's a no no. So. Is your name Zachary? He says yes. A lot of detectives test determined that was the truth. All right? Mm -hmm. I asked him, do your friends call you Zach? These are easy ones. Right? right? He says yes. A lot of detective tests determined that was the truth. Even when I when I introduced myself, I said, Zachary? He says, no, call me Zach. No big deal. I asked him, has he ever stolen from Megan? He says, no. A lot of detective tests determined that that, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I often he say, says yes. He said yeah. When I asked him, has he ever stolen from you? He says yes. A lot of take the test determined that was the truth. She asked you a question. What'd you steal from him? It wasn't much. Just something out of the drawers here. Here? Okay. I mean, what was it? Do you want, you want to share? That man about to say some cash, and she finna be like, hold on, wait a minute, but... Obviously, it wasn't much because if she didn't even catch on to that whenever you did it, then obviously it wasn't much cash. So, we're going to find out for sure. Though. Share with us or share with her? What? What do you... You don't need to share anything. You stole something out of her underwear drawer? Are you wearing her underwear? Underwear drawer. Is that what you do? You wear a girl's underwear? I mean, if that's what you do, I mean, that's fine. No, I mean, I just, I'm just... Baby, because sometimes just men might want to do that. Just shut up. You know? Okay. Yeah. I understand it's okay. Are you kind of like rolling them up and sleeping with them? And it's okay because it's your girl. I mean, I understand. Right? Just good. Keep going. I asked him, do you love Megan? Baby, did I ask him that question? He says, yes. Lie detector test determined that was the truth. I asked, are you in love with Megan? He says, yes. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. I ask, in the last 30 days, have you used the internet to meet other women? He says, no. A lot of tips says term that was a lie. I asked, when you're kissing Megan, do you So that's the question she got up from after hearing the results. I would have got up after I heard that you stole from me. I don't care, my boy. After after the if he would have told me that it like say if Mimi cheated I mean not cheated, but stole from me, I would have instantly got up off of that question just because of the simple fact not only Am I having trust issues with with you or whatever? But you're stealing from me now. Like that's definitely a no no. Like I said, cheating is up there. I mean, stealing is up there with cheating at number one tie. So it is what it is. But but this question, she she didn't even care if it wasn't really a did you cheat question. But he pretty much lied and said he didn't meet somebody over the internet from that he talked to over the internet in person. But he did so. That's an indication right there for sure that, yeah, you cheated, my boy. Cause why would you lie about that if you didn't do anything? So that lets you know right there that you just caught. Like, you should have just said that you talking to motherfuckers behind her back. Yeah. And save your, yourself the, the, the publicity or whatever the hell you want to call this um, exposure. <laughs> Think of another woman. You're a cheater and a stealer. That's tough. He says, no. A lot of tapes test determined that was also a lie. Oh, okay. I asked him, when you're being intimate with Megan, are you thinking of another woman? Did I ask him that, sweetheart? Yes. Lie detector test determined that was also a lie. I don't know who he's thinking about, but he's not thinking about you. Mm. I asked him, Megan, in the last 30 days, have you had unprotected relation with anyone other than you? And I said your name specifically, Megan. He says, no. Lie detector test determined that was also a lie. That's not a lie. That's a lie, man. It's a lie. No, it's and not. you need to add down, too, homie. It's a lie. He get all mad about that one, but 
you just feel basically ever since the um the cheating part. I mean the stealing part. I keep saying cheating. The stealing part. Now you getting mad because you know you got caught. But that one definitely is just the icing on the cake right there. Shoot. Not only is you stealing and pretty much cheating, but you also having relations with somebody else outside the relationship. And yeah, definitely a no-no. What are you talking about? It's a lie, homie. You're what lying to her. talking about? I asked her, I asked her, him also, and I don't care about him getting amped up because I'll body this cat. I asked yeah, him, I will body you, homie, but let's keep uh, it about yeah. you. See, I'm, 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 I'm not even going to think about doing that to him. I'm just going to, because it's about you right now. It's not about me. And he's trying to divert it. You see, he's trying to, trying to do yeah. I'm not going to pay attention to that. Because yeah, to me, this is lightweight, right? This is easy work for me. Come on, come on, this is easy work for me. Come on. See, Zach, what you doing, Zach? What you doing, Zach? Hey, we ain't going to get this. What you doing, man? What you doing, homie? What you doing, homie? What's up, 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 homie? You need to chill out or I'm going to body you again. He's trying to divert this. You see this? I asked him specifically, are you cheating on Megan? He says no. Not only is you getting exposed for being a cheater, a liar, and a stealer, but you also just got pretty much body slim on camera. And you ain't, you ain't really do nothing about it. <laughs> you try to play tough and got body slim. So now you got to... Also get it humiliated live on camera for the whole world to see. But like I said, man, I'm going to keep on saying it. I don't know if these videos are real or fake. People have their opinions and stuff. And some of the stuff I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat. I feel like it's fake. But either way, the shit is entertaining. So it don't really matter to me if it was real or not. Like, this is really entertaining to me. That's why I reacted to it for you guys. And that's why you all see a lot of these reactions to his videos on our channel. Because a lot of people like it us reacting to them so i still do it just because it's entertaining so either way y'all comment down below how y'all feel about these videos if they real or fake but either way this dude pretty much got humiliated if this is all legit like you you out the game on this one for sure the lie detector said you were lying lie detector test determined you're absolutely right that megan he is lying to you he's cheating on you and i knew it this entire time but, but now it's confirmed and that's exactly why i wanted to do this test what do you got to say now besides getting body what you got to say to me if i feel like i said if i feel like a person is cheating or whatever um i'm gonna just leave the situation i'm not even gonna go this far like if i gotta feel like if i'm getting um Feelings that you're cheating and stuff like this and that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, then I'm just leave you. I'm not gonna go this far. I'm not even gonna waste more of my time with you just because of some fact. I already got pretty much strong feeling that you're doing it, and basically probably is doing it. So, hey, it is what it is. But let's continue on because it's Sorry. almost over. Oh, so you're admitting it to her. Honey found a coupon code for two hundred and twenty-one dollars. <laughs> We're literally about to check out without honey. That Yes. It gets worse though. It gets worse. Wait right here, baby. Watch them. I'm gonna go outside. Wait right here. Sorry. Don't, don't lie to me right now. Come on, man. Lied to you this Remember, I told you I had some information on Zach. Yeah. That's Zach's girlfriend right there. Hey, does he look familiar girlfriend? to you? No. Wait, I'm your girlfriend. Is this oh, her? No. Is this her? Really? No. So this does he look familiar to you? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Oh, so now you want to leave, huh? Oh, you got busted. I know that you got the Please don't fight. Please don't fight each other. Don't fight each other. It's him. It's him. It's not. You guys shouldn't be fighting. It's this guy. He's a dirtbag. He's cheating on you, too. So tell me about her. Who is she? This is huh? ridiculous. This is what they bring me in for? And I have to see another woman? Like, are you kidding me? This is the end of us. This is ridiculous. <laughs> My man, like, he ready to take flight or so because he already know he ain't got no control of this situation. It's pretty much over with. He already know he out the game for this one. You need to I thought about ever fighting? How long have you been with her? You still want to be with her? How long has this been? You still want to be with her? How long? It don't, listen, ladies, it don't even matter how long. He's a dirtbag. He's a dirtbag. 
Right. Can you say something? What? You're I, being a coward just right now. A couple Zach. months. Just a couple, couple months. months? A How couple months so cheating much? on you too. And cheating on listen, this questionnaire stuff doesn't even matter. He's a dirtbag, he doesn't deserve you, and he doesn't deserve you. Have you seen enough? Have you seen enough? This is enough for me. This is enough. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. I'm out. Bye. Zach, you're busted. You already lost one, and I'm damn sure you're gonna lose Megan too. You, yeah. Are you done with him, Megan? Even look at him. Are you done with him? I'm done with him. Hit the door before I body. No. Hit the door before I body you again, homie. <laughs> you know, with the pool, you can see the new growth there. So. This company might have just cured baldness. Maybe. Hit the door. Maybe. Hey man, hit the door. Hit the door. I'm gonna body you again. Hit the door. Hit the door. He said, hey, man, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave, dude. You already body slimmed me and everything. I already know I ain't. I ain't got. It. No type of muscle to be trying to trying to wrestle with you and shit. I'm gonna just go ahead and go before I end up on the floor again. That's pretty much what his mindset is right there. When he walked away, he already know what time it is. After he already tried testing them and stuff, it is what it is. He could have avoided all of that just by saying, "Yeah, I cheated." Before he even took the test and everything, and they probably would have avoided this whole situation if it's legit. But like I said, hey, it's entertaining either way. Nevertheless. <laughs> Why he trying to open and close the door like that? Like he, he just definitely that definitely looked scripted, scripted right there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but that shit funny as hell. I'm sorry it happened to you. I'm sorry. I just I knew it was happening, but I just didn't. I didn't want to believe it. I understand, but it's over now. It's over. What am I supposed to do? You can go on. You're you're a good baby. Isn't she a great girl? What you, if, you don't need him. What if she's pregnant? I have no idea. If I'm pregnant, what, what are we supposed to do then? I don't want him in my life. I understand. What am I supposed to do with all of our things? We're about to move in together. We're about to go on a trip with my family to North Carolina. Just... You have to start over. Go ahead, have a seat. Have a seat right here. I understand it's a shock. Have a seat. I just, it's hard because I still love him, and I know he's not good for me, and I'm sure it wasn't the first and only time that he's done this to me, but I need to do what's good for you, you know? Pretty much the end, man. Hey, I just want to say, man, if you feel like something going on with the person you're in a relationship with where it's like giving you cheating vibes and stuff i'm not telling you to necessarily just instantly break up with that person try to try to do whatever you can like i ain't saying like go take them to get a goddamn lie detector test took and shit because i don't even know if that's really real like if you could go do that because i never heard somebody say yeah i took this person to take a lie detector test to find out if they were cheating on me <laughs> but if like try so like try like asking them or trying to pick their brain pretty much to to see if they say anything like if they're trying hard to deflect or dodge the question or get upset super upset then that means nine times out of ten they probably is cheating or whatever so you basically gonna have to do what you think you should do based off of that information in there so i can't tell y'all what to do but if you're in a situation like that just try to do whatever you can to figure it out if they like i said keep deflecting and dodging the holds every single time real hard and getting super upset and that's pretty much probably an indication right there for you to go ahead and make your decision man because at the end of the day nobody deserves to be in a relationship where they're not the only person wanted by that person and basically go build a future with if they're not all the way locked in with you and stuff like that so definitely just know you deserve better if you're in a situation like that and cut that person off no matter how much it might hurt or you might love them you gotta move on because obviously they don't care if they doing it to you but other than that man that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like 
comment and subscribe if you're brand new man and i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow with another video so stay tuned and i'm gonna see y'all later on peace